Hey guys, so I put the poll out on Facebook and you guys voted and oddly enough it was a complete tie between my holiday home tour and the holiday makeup tutorial. Um, so what I've decided to do is go ahead and film this holiday makeup tutorial and then next week on Christmas Eve I'll release my holiday home tour because I'll actually be in Indiana visiting my stepdaughter and my grandchildren. So um, it'll be like a good thing for me to kind of release on that day. But yeah, um, before we get started, I'm just gonna put a disclaimer out there. I am not a professional makeup artist. I am just a girl who likes makeup and watches the same YouTube tutorials that you guys watch. So another reason I suggested this is because in a lot of my um, Christmas videos that I've put out recently, a lot of you have asked me about what I'm wearing and this, that, and the other made comments that you liked the look, and so I just thought I'd share with you like how I do it. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I've never done anything like this before, so this is completely new to me, but yeah. I thought I'd wear my Christmas headband here to kinda make it all fun and festive. But so to get things started, um, I'm gonna be using the Milani Prime Shield. I'm sorry that this is gonna be backwards. There's nothing I can do about that. I'm filming this on my phone. And for some reason, it just doesn't do mirror, mirror image well. But this is the Milani Prime Shield. I will link it down below in the comments. All the products I use today, I'll link down below in the comic box, comic, the comment box for you guys. But this is the Milani Prime Shield, and it's the primer I usually use. Um, this is like my everyday primer. Um, if I am going out for something special, and then you just kind of rub it in all over, um, what a primer does is it just kind of gives um, something on your skin for your foundation to kind of grab a hold of and kind of stick to. And this one is actually kind of mattifying. So if you're oily, it really helps to keep you matte throughout the day. Um, if I'm going out for like a special event or someplace nice, or it's date night or something like that, I really also like to use the Benefit Professional. There's kind of a glare, there we go. The Benefit Professional. This is probably my favorite primer. This is pricey though, worth every penny in my opinion, especially if, we, especially if you're like me, and you know, I'm pushing 40 and I'm getting older and my pores are getting a little bigger. The Benefit Professional is amazing. So yeah, I just put my primer on my skin and then I'm gonna do my foundation. I love the um, Too Faced Born This Way foundation. The color I'm using is Warm Nude. Um, I am one of those people that I don't like really heavy foundations. I don't like for my skin to look like plastic. I don't like to feel like there's plastic on my skin. I really like this because it gives medium to full coverage. Um, I just use two pumps on my hand. I love that it has the pump as well. But I put two pumps on my hand. And then um, I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics kind of flat top kabuki brush to put it on and I just kind of do a tap and then I just kind of tap it all over my face like this. Kind of get it dispersed through my face and then I just kind of buff it into my skin. I also have a mirror down here so if I'm looking down some. Um, that's why because it's my kind of magnified mirror but yeah I just kind of buff it all of my skin like so I'll probably speed this up for you really quick so you don't have to sit through me doing all this okay and as you can see my foundation's on, and I like it because it definitely gives me good coverage. You can see, like, the pink tone on my cheeks is gone. It's really even my skin tone out. Um, and I really like it because it gives me great coverage, but yet my skin can still kind of shine through, and I don't look fake. And I love the way it feels. Um, that's that for foundation. Then I'm going to be using this um, Mary Kay Under Eye Corrector. And this is kind of what it looks like. 
My friend Chandra is my Mary Kay girl and I will link her down below as well. I love this stuff. I, I don't have a lot of Mary Kay products, um, but I went to a party at my sister's house, and this is gonna kinda be chatty, guys. I don't know, this is just how I do things. But I went to a party at my sister's house. Um, she had like a little Mary Kay party. And you know how they do the whole, you get the make the facial and stuff like that, and just kind of um, um, introducing you to their products and stuff. Well, I used this, and you'll see. I have really purple under eyes, and like I use concealer, but it just always, it never really seemed to work. Well, this stuff is bomb. Like it totally cancels out all of that purple undertone. And this is not what I'm using for concealer. This is just like a color corrector. And so you can see how it totally cancels out all of that purple color. And it really just like lifts my eye, makes it look brighter. Like I absolutely love this stuff. I'm trying to look at the camera. It's hard to do your makeup and talk at the same time. But yeah, I absolutely love this stuff. And um, I highly recommend it. Then for concealer, I have really been liking the NYX HD concealer. And I just love this. Um, it works so well. Super inexpensive. It's like $5. Um, and if you know me, like I have tried a lot of high-end concealers, drugstore concealers, um, but I really, really like this one, and I just kind of put it like this, but yeah, so I'm just taking this concealer, kind of making a triangle underneath my eye, and kind of like highlighting, highlighting while I conceal. Like I said, I'm 38 years old, almost 39, and so, you know, I just am carrying a little extra baggage, I would like to think. That it's Louis Vuitton baggage but I'm just carrying you know some extra baggage underneath my eyes and just trying to cover that up yes my sponge and my brushes are a little bit dirty I haven't washed them in a couple days and I've been doing my makeup because I've been going to like a lot of Christmas parties and stuff so you'll just have to bear with me I'm sure that if you guys were honest with me none of your makeup brushes are clean either so Let's just extend each other a little grace. It's been a busy month. But yeah, so I just, like I did with the color corrector, I just kind of um, blot it out. Um, now we're gonna do something kind of funny. This is something, if you're like me and you're a little older and you've started developing um, some fine lines and stuff underneath your eyes and things like that, you, you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna set your concealer underneath your eyes. Um, one thing that I really like using I don't know if this will give you flashback or not. For those of you makeup junkies out there, um, flashback is when you take a picture with a flash and you'll see like white underneath eyes where people have set their makeup. I don't know if this does that or not, um, but I just really like it. It's under $2. It's the NYC um, Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder in Translucent. This is literally $1.50. So I just take it, take the lid off. I kind of put a little bit in the lid. And then I take my um, Morphe M438 brush. It looks like this. Kind of tap it in this. And then I just kind of put a heavy bit of this powder underneath my eye. And I leave it there for a little bit. And what this is doing is it's setting that concealer. And, uh, sorry. It's setting that concealer and it's going to keep it from like creasing, from it forming lines. And then I also will kind of do this right here because I smile a lot and I get some laugh lines. And I know I look a fool right now, but I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes because um, it's going to let it, I guess they call it baking. And it's just really like letting that concealer and stuff set underneath my eyes. So while it is baking, I'm going to go ahead and um, work on my eyes. And to get things started with, I really like to use the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer. It looks like this. And once again, this is like $1.50. Um, the high-end version of this that I have used that I really like too is the Urban Decay um, Eyeshadow Priming Potion. 
eyeshadow primer potion. Um, it works really well, but it's also like $20 a pop. And I don't know, like if I'm gonna spend $20 on something, it's gonna be a lipstick or something like that, not an eyeshadow primer, especially when there's so many great drugstore options like this Wet n Wild one that work just as well and it's two dollars you know um don't don't thumb your nose at drugstore products trust me on this there are some really good products and wet n wild has some amazing products out there so basically i took you know just a very tiny little drop on my finger i should have showed you how much i used kind of rubbed it together my fingers and kind of rubbed it on my eyelids and then i take this brush the morphe M438 and I'm just gonna kind of set it across this to kind of set that what this is doing is um, Ooh, there's a lot of extra powder on that And what this is doing is it's kind of setting this it's creating a nice base for my eyeshadow And this will kind of help my eyeshadow last all day and it will really help it keep from creasing and um, Yeah, it's just Literally, I'll put my eyeshadow on like, you know, in the afternoon and when I go to bed at like midnight when I'm taking my makeup off, like my eyeshadow still looks banging. So yeah, I swear by this. And so yeah, I just did that. You can kind of see like it's, just kind of rub some of this excess off and um, it's ready to go. Ready for eyeshadow. For eyeshadow today, um, I'm going to be using the Tartlet In Bloom palette and it looks like this. To hold this up here kind of looks like this it's so hard there we go it looks like this this is hands down my favorite eyeshadow palette that I own and I own a few of them um, I've owned the Urban Decay Naked palettes Morphe palettes Too Faced palettes um, oh gosh it cosmetics palettes and this hands down, this is my holy grail eyeshadow palette. I will always have one of these in my collection at all times. I just love the colors. I love the mixture of mattes and shimmers. It's just a really awesome neutral palette. So anyways, I'm gonna start out with um, this color right here first, right here. It's called, oh, I hate the glare on this. It's called Flower Child, I believe. And I'm going to put some of that on my brush, top off the excess, and then I'm just going to go in my crease right here and just kind of do like windshield wiper motions in my crease. I have a hooded lid, a very hooded lid. I mean, I'm a full figured girl, so we know I have a hooded lid. And um, so I like to kind of go in my crease and then a little bit above my crease so that when I open my eye, you can kind of still see what's going on. And I'm going to do my other eye. I hope this isn't too boring, you guys, because I really have no idea what I'm doing. You guys think it's really super easy to get on here and do these videos, but like everybody feels a little funny, like recording themselves. And then it's like, I'm no professional. Like I really just kind of got into makeup within the last year. So, okay, so there's that. Now I want to create a little bit more depth. So I'm going to go right next door to that one and use this Smarty Pants color. I'm just gonna get a little bit on my brush, same brush that I used, and I'm gonna go in right here. And again, it's just creating a little bit more depth in my crease. Just kind of, you know, showing up. Nothing too crazy, nothing too, you know, I'm not gonna look like a professional lady of the night, but um, just kind of giving me some more depth. And I'm gonna go into the other side. Um, I like to hold my brush kind of loosely. Because I heard that the looser you hold your brush, the actual more control you have on it. So, yeah. There's that. Now, um, what I'm going to do is this bottom color right here. It's like a gold shimmer color. It's called Funny Girl. I'm going to take my finger. I'm going to use my middle finger for this just because I get more control. But I'm gonna, And I'm just going to kind of rub it in the palette like this. And then I'm just going to take it and rub it all over my lid. I find that with shimmer colors, you just get more color payoff. 
if you use your finger. I know people like wet their brushes and things like that, but I don't have a brush collection where like I can have wet brushes because I, you know, I only have a couple really nice eyeshadow brushes that I use. So yeah. So I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna put this on both eyelids. And see? Now, if I was just going to go out shopping for the day or something, I would stop right here. I'm just gonna take my brush, kind of clean up that line, blend it out a little bit, and yeah, I would stop right here. This is a really pretty, just like everyday holiday eye. It's neutral, you've got some shimmer, and you're golden. However, um, I told you I was gonna do the look that I had last night, and last night I had went to a party. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run, come over here to these darker colors. I'm gonna use this color right here called Activist. And I'm gonna get, I have a Morphe E18. It looks like this. It's just kind of like a, like a smudge, a little bit larger smudging brush. And I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna get the littlest bit, or wait, no. I'm sorry, my bad. I used um, Smoke Show. The one on the top last night. I can see where I used it. And uh, I'm just gonna get, just tap it, tap, tap, then tap off the excess, and then I'm just gonna go in, and just on the outer corner, I'm gonna take it, and you can see, I mean, I literally am just going on the outer corner, and then I'll take it over in the crease a little bit, but I am just focusing that right on that outer corner. Because, like, I ain't trying to look a hot, scary mess. I just want to smoke this look out a little bit, make it a little bit more dramatic. Kind of good for, like, those holiday parties. I'm just kind of put that on there, and then I'm going to go over and do the same thing to my other eye. Just kind of focus right here on the outer corner of my eye. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to blend this out. I just like using a little bit smaller brush for it so that and then I just kind of look at it and make sure, you know, you kind of got it looking even. Get a little bit more. I always get more on one side than I get on the other. Do you guys have that problem at all? Um... And then I'm going to take my IT Cosmetics Heavenly Lux No Tug Dual Eyeshadow Brush. It looks like this. And I'm just going to kind of blend that out. Just kind of soften that collar up a little bit. Blend it out. And I'll speed this up for you so you don't have to watch me do it. This is kind of what the eyeshadow looks like at the end. I know you're thinking, oh my gosh, that's not pretty at all. But trust me, once we do eyeliner and eyelashes and all that stuff, it's gonna be gorgeous. But to give my eyes a break, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna wipe away all of this bake that I've done. Wipe it away and then just, you know, kind of go over my foundation, like set it a little bit. Um, I don't put any extra powder on this brush. I just use, you know, what I've brushed away. It's gonna pick up in the brush and it just kind of sets it. And that too will help your foundation stay all day. So there's that. And now we're gonna do some contouring. In my contouring, I use the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. It kind of looks like this. But I'm just gonna take um, my Real Techniques a um, multi-task brush looks like this and I'm gonna get pick up some of this like middle color here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna suck my cheeks in and I'm gonna start back here at my ear and kind of work my way forward ever so gently and you can kind of see that um, sorry you can kind of see that line that I'm doing right there just kind of along my cheekbone you can kind of see how it's kind of 
cut my chin down a little bit, or not my chin, my cheek down a little bit, thin this side of my face down a little bit. Gotta love those optical illusions, girls. But I love facials during makeup, don't you? As you can see, my face still looks kind of a little bit dead, but here is where bronzer comes in. My, like, I'm not gonna lie to you, my all-time favorite bronzer, no joke, is the NYC Smooth Skin um, Bronzing Face Powder in the color Sunny. And it looks like this. It's $1.50 at Walmart. Um, I absolutely love this bronzer. Um, for my bronzing brush, I'm going to use the IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Wand Ball Powder Brush Number 8. And I just get in there, tap off the excess, and then just kind of like you're applying blush. Go on your forehead, make sure you get like down your neck. Get in there, do the other side, forehead, down your neck. And I like to just go in on either side of my nose. And as you can see, like, all of a sudden, my face has dimension now. I don't look so, like, flat and white. So there's our bronzer done. Now we're going to talk blush. But the blush that has been, like, kind of my blush that I seem to be reaching for all the time right now is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Mellow Wine Blush. And it looks like, if <laughs> I can get it open, it looks like this. And I just think this color is everything right now. I'm going to be using a Real Techniques um, blush brush. It looks like this. This is my favorite blush brush. It's just so light and fluffy. I just kind of get in there, tap off the excess, and then I kind of smile and do the, ball, the apples of my cheeks. And there you go. I just think this gives the prettiest, just like rosy color to your cheeks. Like you've been out in a winter's day and you just have some wind chapped cheeks. I think it's lovely, but that's what I've been using. And then it's time to highlight. I love a good highlight. I know some people say people my age shouldn't highlight, but there are no rules to make up. You do what you want. You highlight as much as you want. Like it's your face. As long as you like it, that's all that matters. So for highlighter today, I'm gonna to be using the infamous Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill and Becca Cosmetics. I just, it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be using a Morphe um, M501 brush and just kind of hit the tops of my cheeks. And like I like to go right up here by my eye and you can already see, see that? Oh, so pretty and this like just picture this at a Christmas party like in the dim lighting with the Christmas tree like I, this is just so pretty so pretty and again like mm, I just love that glow and then because I'm extra I just like to do my nose a little bit and then I like to do my Cupid's bow and then bit on my chin. Of course, if you have oily skin, you may not want to do your new nose and cupid's bow and chin, um, but I don't, so I just kind of like the little bit of extra glow that it gives me. So yeah, this to this point is like all powder products on my face. So what I like to do now is um, set with a setting spray. I just got this in my Sephora Play box. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. and. I like to use a setting spray just because I really do feel like it helps your makeup stay longer. Um, what I normally use, and I should have grabbed this on my counter back there, is the L'Oreal um, Pro Makeup Finishing Spray. I've been using it. I really like it as well. Um, I'm just using this right now because I just got it and I'm trying to decide if I want to invest in it. You just spray it and then whew, let it go, girl. Let it go. Let it dry. I like this because it dries almost instantly. So now it is time to go back to our eyes. And I love a good eyebrow. I mean, I just do. I love a good eyebrow. And so for my eyebrows, um, 
my go-to has been this Chanel Paris Precision Brow Definer in Soft Brown. I did not buy this. Um, my mom actually gave this to me. Um, but I have been loving this. I'm going to be sad when it doesn't go. Or when it doesn't go. When it doesn't work anymore. Um, but um, what I do first is I like to take my brows and I like to brush them against the grain. Kind of fluff them up a little bit. And then I like to go up like this and kind of get them fuller. I kind of jumped ahead of myself. Um, and then I kind of just kind of smooth out the top. And I'll do the same thing over here. Just kind of brush it up. Brush it up. You can see it kind of makes it look fuller. And then I brush it upwards and then smooth out the top. And then what I'm going to do is just take little small little strokes kind of fill in the bareness of my brow. I'm not one of these girls that like like their brows that you can obviously tell it's been drawn on. Some girls like that and that's perfectly fine. But for me I like more of a more natural brow. I just want it I want it there. I want you to notice it, but I don't want it to look like it's drawn on. Does that make any sense? So I just go through and kind of fill out the sparseness. Yes, yeah, so there's my brows on. And then just kind of like to go through and just brush it out a little bit. If you feel like you got it a little bit too dark, this will help kind of soften it out a little. And then I like to go in with, um, I just got this sample in um, Ipsy, I think it was. The Benefit Gimme Brow, like brow gel. I love it, but any, any clear brow gel will do. This is just to kind of help set your brows. This one actually has a little bit of a color tint to it. I don't know if I'll buy this. I don't even know how much it is. I really do like it. I'm not going to lie to you. But any clear brow gel would do. This just kind of sets your brows and keeps them in place. And There we go. Brows done. Next, <laughs> this is the fun part. Um, next is eyeliner. I recently have gotten into a winged eye. I came across on YouTube this someone talking about this NYX Collection Noir liquid black eyeliner. It comes in a tube, looks like this, and then it has like a little brush that looks like this. I, uh, this is my favorite eyeliner. I am way more comfortable doing a wing with this than any other eyeliner. And um, I'm gonna try to do this on camera, at least do one eye on camera, and then. <laughs> We may have to um, to uh, do my other one off camera because I can't imagine this is going to be easy. So as you can see, I kind of just drew a line across my eyelid. I'm gonna draw a line up in the corner of my eye and then take it and just kind of drag it on its side and fill it in. It's like how you want. I like this. I think it's a really pretty, um, just need to rub it in a little bit more. I think it's a nice, pretty, like, bold wing on both sides. I just need to play with my flick on this side. I got lost. Like I said, you always have one side that turns out better than the other. And then for my eyeliner, I love the Rimmel Scandalize eye Pencil Liner, or Eye Coal, whatever you want to call them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go do my top and bottom water lines with it. And um, then what I like to do is, um, where did it go? Where did it go? There it is. I like to take that It Cosmetics eyeshadow brush and I'm going to grab some um, Jet Setter off of my Tartlet eyeshadow pack. 
palette and on that flat smudger side I'm just gonna kind of go underneath the bottom of my eye kind of smooth that out a little bit And then I'm going to take my pinky, I'm going to rub it again in that shimmery funny girl. I'm just going to pop it right in this inner corner of my eye. Pop it, pop it. Pop it right there. And then I'm going to take this again and I'm going to put it in that, that funny girl and I'm just going to do my brow bone just right underneath my brow bone to give it a little shimmer. There we go. Okay. Um, eyes are done with exceptions of lashes and I am still learning how to do lashes. So I'm not going to do them on camera. There are a lot of different tutorials for how to do this. So I'm going to let you look those up, <laughs> but I am going to pop on some lashes and then I'll be right back. Okay, and my lashes are now on. I just used um, the Ardell Demi Wispies. I love them. They give me drama, but not too much drama. And I don't know, I just think they kind of look natural, but you obviously don't have to wear lashes with this look. You can just use your regular lashes. Um, I just know that like if I'm going to a party or a date night or something like that, I just want something a little extra. And then what I like to do is I like to use some mascara. My favorite mascara, I like to use some mascara. My favorite mascara is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I just like to do this and then I just kind of like to go under where my natural lashes are and just kind of, kind of blend those into the fake lashes they're not you know sticking down or anything like that now for the really fun part um, and I'll give you guys a close-up of my face once I'm um, gonna get this done but now for the really fun part the lips I am a lip junkie like if you could see my makeup box over here like I have tons of lip products but this Christmas no matter where I go like people have been stopping me about this red color like where did you get that color? What color is it? Yada 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 and um, It is the Kat Von D liquid matte um, Lipstick in outlaw This is my go-to red because I have to have a blue toned red. I always um, Line my lips and I think anytime you're using a liquid matte you need to line your lips just because it can get really crazy really quick. But I'm using the NYX um, Lip Liner in Cabernet. Looks like this. And um, I'm just going to line my lips here. Hang on one second. So as you can see, I used my lip liner, I outlined my lips, and I filled it in. The reason I fill it in is because a lot of times liquid mattes, as the day go on, like this part will wear off and then it's white and if you didn't bring it with you it can look a little weird. But it'll give you a little extra staying power if you fill in your lips with your lip liner underneath. Um, since the majority of the time I've been wearing the Outlaw that you guys have been asking me about my lips, last night I wore the Stila, but I'm going to go ahead and use the Outlaw. And this formula is just so, it's gorgeous. Okay, and here is my finished holiday look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. It was something really new for me to do. Um, and I had a lot of fun with it. Maybe we'll use some more of these in the future. I just wanna say, don't feel locked into using these products. Use whatever you have on hand. 
use this for inspiration, not necessarily as a rule book or guidelines, because as I said before, I really don't know what I'm doing. And also I just wanna leave you with, don't be afraid of red. Finding the red lip color can be really empowering and it can just, it can really make you feel fierce. So yeah, don't be afraid to rock a red lip this holiday season. I hope you guys are having the merriest of Christmases. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye-bye.